What's going on YouTube? Today is an updated class setup video as January as of January 22nd. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm going to be doing multiplayer and Warzone. So multiplayer, ranked, Warzone, all of the above. So to start off, since the new update, my MTW I'm running is... I'm still doing the build to break with the Cyclone Barrel, the Phantom Hand Stop, the Regal Heavy Stop, and the Slate. I have gone back and forth with a few different classes, but this class is still... I don't know, this feels the most comfortable to me. Still beams. Has a little slower uh, aim in time than the other one did, but that's to be expected with the nerf. Like, this thing still shoots really straight. Still my go-to. Uh, Pistol-wise, I don't have, like, a uh, super juiced-out pistol class simply because this is just what GAs are. Like, you can only have speed attachments, but if you want to, like, throw on a muzzle, you can. If you want your pistol to be, like, a beam pistol, you could throw that on you can throw these fire rates on but you can't have this in the cdl so this is the class i'm going with mcw renetti stun frag trophy quick uh convert neod padding is just the the typical my second class this has changed a little bit it's changed a little bit since the update so i'm doing the purifier the hand stop the clear shot barrel the rival fights assault and then now i'm doing the close quarters the Marauder got a little bit of a nerf, and I personally think the close quarter... You could go with either one, to be honest with you. The, the rival's still really good, but I'm doing the close quarters. Like, I might end up switching this at some point, but so far, like, off the rip. The close quarters, to me, seems like it beams pretty well. Like, doesn't seem like it moves hardly at all. Like, everything is fine with it. Like, if you're long range, it feels, like, it feels smooth. It feels snappy. Like, everything's quick with it. Like, it just seems to mow down. So I got, like I said, that's these attachments. Same pistol is going to be for every class. Just the speed, just the speed attachment. Stun, Simtex, quick grip gloves, convert sneakers and EOD pad and trophy. I've seen some people, by the way, to go back on the MCW, I've seen some people trying the marksman gloves out again. Um, so I might have to, like, experiment with that and see what it is. This is the same class. This is just with the smoke on it. Um, like... Glad I noticed that, actually. I have not changed this one yet. But yeah, uh, this is the same thing with the smoke, Simtex. Sniper class, you can't have any attachments on it in the CDL, so there is no attachments on this sniper, but uh, if I was going to do a juiced-out sniper class, I would do the Ephemeral Bolt. I would do the... You don't really even need a barrel. There's not really many attachments you need other than the speed ones. Like, I would do Phantom Grip. Um... I would do the tactical stock pad. But like I said, you can't have anything on it. Uh, but this is my sniper class. Like I said, I never really get to use it. But this is my multiplayer classes. Uh, I will go into rank play and show you guys. Rank play is going to be the same exact thing. But I just want to show you guys, like, yeah, what I have. So rank play, same thing. Like I said, the rival... With this attachment, the MCW, um, I've been experimenting with a few things. I've tried the claw on it. Uh, I've tried, like I said, the Regal Heavy. You can, it's really, it's all really up to bait right now. Uh, like even with the claw, the claw is pretty decent. Like it, it doesn't move at all. So like it depends on if you want more beam, or if you want a little bit more of a, uh, like more of a movement type. It's completely up to you. Uh, this is my for fun sniper class and ranked. Um, the Zang, the Koryo Eagle's Eye, the Tack Stock, the, the Quick Bolt, and the Phantom. But yeah, so these are the multiplayer slash um, rank play classes. Now, to get to the Warzone portion, because Warzone also has its own fair share of classes. Uh, Warzone, I'm doing the HRM9. Now, I have the flash hider, the phantom hand stop, the 50 round mag on it, the folding stock, and the last one is the, I'm pretty sure it's the PCS assault grip. Uh, I will double check that because I just made this class. I just unlocked it pretty much. Pretty sure this is the go-to on it. I don't have any of the, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the class that I'm using for Warzone. It has, like, the growl iron sight on it from back in, like, the original Warzone. This gun's pretty nasty. Uh, 
since the since the swarm got banned or nerfed, um, this thing is pretty much the go-to. Um, what's it called? The the pure Mute's still pretty good. I've tried a striker build too. I don't know if you guys are gonna want to try this. I thought this striker build was pretty decent. I got the striker recon long barrel, the purifier muzzle, the hand stop, the 48 round mag, and the slate. This gun is it shoots slower, right? Like if someone runs up on you, you're not gonna be able to like kind of mow them down as quick, but it hits harder than most subs. Like this gun is strong for a sub and it beams. So if you guys like a slower approach, if you're not gonna be like sliding in to like quads, this gun is pretty nasty as well. Same perk packages as I've always used, um, even since the, the bug is um, double time, sleight of hand, cold blooded, and high alert. If you guys don't know, to, to be able to use your perk packages since it's been bugged a little bit, all you have to do is make the exact same perk package as a number two and then select the first one and then your perks work. So make the exact same thing as two and then just select the first one and your perks will work uh, until they fix it. Uh, like I said, the striker. Now, these guns, this is what I was using, the attack Radicator and then TZ, but they got nerfed to hell, so there's no point to use that. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead, and I'm going to make the, this is going to be the new AR that I'm running. So I haven't made the class yet because I made it for multiplayer, for like pubs, but I'm making the, here is, here, where is it at? The Headwind, it's the uh, the Jack. It's the Jack. BFB, it's the Bruin, uh, a, a heavy grip, I think it's called, Bruin Heavy Sport Grip, um, it's going to be the HVS stock pad, and then you're going to want a 60 round drum on it, so this is the go-to RAM, like I said, I'm going to, instead of having a striker, I'm going to switch all of the uh, subs to the HRM9. But this RAM is disgusting. Like, if you're not... A, I'm the type of guy... I don't like using big-ass LMGs the whole time when I play Warzone. I like having more of, like, a hybrid speed one. That's kind of, uh, That's why I really like the TAC Eradicator. This gun is going to be what you want. Like, it has a decent iron sight on it. Like, you don't really even need anything. You can see pretty well with it. It beams, and it reloads really quick. So if you're trying to get in the mix and run around, this gun's going to be a lot better than using the uh, the LMG. But, yeah, this is the Warzone classes. I got multiplayer ranked Warzone. If you guys have any uh, any suggestions on what I should change or what your personal preference is, uh, let me know in the comments below. But this is what I'm rocking as of January 22nd. So, YouTube, I appreciate the love. See you later.